Many people have teeth problems. What you need to do is to have in your diet the secret ingredient. If you have in your diet the secret ingredient, you will have healthy teeth, you will have a healthy mouth hygiene, and you will not suffer from tooth decay. It's important that you have the secret ingredient every day, if it's possible, in your diet. The secret ingredient of the secret soup. <laughs> I like how um, this term was um, used in uh, Kung Fu Panda. So the secret ingredient is the activator X. This activator X was found by Weston Price when he went to discover why those natives don't have any tooth problem. So their teeth were perfectly healthy, perfectly healthy, no decay, no nothing. That's why it's important to have this specific micronutrient in your diet. Activator X is basically vitamin K2, what we know today as vitamin K2. If you have vitamin K2 in your diet, your teeth will have all the calcium they need and will repair themselves. The combination of vitamin D and vitamin K2 will protect not only your teeth, but also your bones. You will not have calcium build up in your arteries or other health problems. It's important to take vitamin D from the sun. It's important to take vitamin D from the foods that you eat. But also it's important to take vitamin K2. These two vitamins, they work together. They need each other. Vitamin D increases your calcium levels in your blood. But vitamin K2 will take this calcium and put it in your bones. In your bones and in your teeth. Where can we find vitamin K2? We can find vitamin K2 in fermented foods like soybeans. If you make this specific traditional food like natto or tempeh or, or fermented cheese, all of these foods contain vitamin K2, especially natto. Natto is one of the best foods and has the highest quantity of vitamin K2. So the best foods that contain vitamin K2 are fermented foods, especially natto, fermented soybeans, dairy products, fermented dairy products also contain a lot of vitamin K2, and of course organs and other animal-based foods that have some vitamin K2. But the best from all of them is natto. Of course you can take vitamin K2 as a supplement. You can take 100 micrograms of vitamin K2 every day. It's important that you don't take it in the evening. It can give you some heart problems, some heart palpitation. You need also not to take too much vitamin K2 because this also can give you some heart uh, problems. It's important to take the exact quantity, let's say 100 micrograms, in the morning. This is the best time. Also vitamin D, you will take it in the morning. You don't take vitamin D in the evening, you don't take vitamin D in the night because you will not produce any more melatonin. So it's important that you take vitamin D and vitamin K2 together as a supplement. If you eat foods high in vitamin K2, it's important that you eat them in the morning or also when you have lunch. Vitamin D the same. It's important to eat foods high in vitamin D in the morning or at lunch. These two micronutrients are very important for your teeth, for your health, for your oral health and to prevent going to dentist because of course everybody is afraid to go to dentist. So keep your diet high in vitamin D high in vitamin K2 and you will keep your teeth in your mouth.